Welcome here and I need, I need help at C squared and we're gonna look to a problem like rotating 270 degree clockwise, right? So that means this way around the origin of this triangle. So we're gonna need a little bit of graph paper and I'm gonna grab point C because that is the closest point to the origin. And let's count one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I need to go clockwise around this point. Oh, Alright, so that means I'm going to go like that. This is 90, this is 180, 270 is going to be here in quadrant 2 in this case. Right? How am I going to find out? Let's just look, take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. The point is right here. This guy here is 270 degree clockwise. So this was the point C, this is a, was a point C perhaps. So yeah. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, the other way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and you get that point. Let's see if we can get the rule. So again, 3 and 4 becomes negative 4 and positive 3. So yeah, xy, xy becomes what? Let's take a look. We have negative 4, it was positive 4, so that would be negative y. And, uh, and the last one is 3. And it was 3, so we're going to stay move x. This is the rule. So we switch x and y, right? And the y also, we switch the sign. Now we can do a. a, which is 6 and 2, becomes, again, we're going to switch x and y, uh, right? And we're going to have negative 2, where we switch also the sign for the y, and 6. And point b. Point D, which is 7, and 6 becomes D prime, which is um, what? The negative 6, because we switch it, we put the Y first, and then we put 7. Don't forget to change that sign, like I said. This is the right, this is the rule we want to remember. You see also two examples here. Uh, if you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C square for more math. Thank you.